I think if you look at the country, the country, I think it grew up really quickly. 50 years and you know we have this amazing infrastructure we have mm -hmm. this amazing uh, life here is beautiful but the art scene didn't grow as quickly mm -hmm. as as the city grew or as the country grew uh, and i think now things are sort of developing and, and we we i think we're in an amazing position because we have all these different nationalities in one spot mm -hmm. and we're making different music but i think it's about time that we sort of come together to create a sound that sounds like uae when you hear it it's like yo man that's that's, that's the uae music that's 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 the sound and I think we're lacking that right now, but we, we're slowly going in that direction. Um, there is something I'm working on that sort of hopes to bring this together. It's a project called Roots, and nice. it's about that, bring, bring that foundation, yeah, yeah. Roots. Yeah. So we're trying to bring the foundation, and basically it's like a weekend, uh, uh, it's a series of events over weekends, and it's about bringing collaboration between other different art disciplines. So we're doing music, we're doing uh, painting, we're doing um, you know, sculpture, we're doing fashion designing, uh, uh, graffiti, uh, murals, all these things sort of come together in one place. Podcasting. <laughs> Podcasting, <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Come on. <laughs> this is an audience. Well. <laughs> Guys, welcome to another episode of Jibba with Jabba. Now, today, I actually don't know how to start this, but I'm gonna, we're gonna get into it. And I'm gonna introduce Arkam Abri. <laughs> but it's, uh, I initially thought it was Arkam, your name. Uh, uh. By the way, welcome to the show. Thank you so much uh, for having me. Uh. No, no, anytime. And I thought, where did you get the name? Because you know, like rappers, musicians, they get these names that they put, like wrestlers' names uh, uh, and uh, all uh. that stuff, <laughs> right? So they, they give themselves another persona. Uh, uh. And I initially thought it was either because Arkham obviously in Arabic means numbers, right? So yeah, I was yeah. thinking it must have been all of the girls' numbers that got thrown at you <laughs> when you open your mouth and sing. <laughs> not at all. Right? Not it's at not all. that? Not at all. I'm a soul singer. I don't have to have like a like a, a hardcore bro, name. You I'm are a soul singer. Thank you so, so much. You're too kind. No, bro. You're when so we're signed to the same management company, shout out to Touch, touch shout out to yeah, Touch. Yeah, yeah. Um so I saw your thing on, come up on their page. And then I pressed the listen button. You know, sometimes you see it, there's no sound. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, I was getting ready to scroll and I was just like, what? Oh, right. What? Too kind, bro. man. No, 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 bro. You. Your voice is incredible, bro. Thank you so much. Thank and I'm you not, so much. I'm not just saying that. Your voice is incredible and it's the, the soul that is needed, dude. The, the soul in your voice is, is something else. And we were speaking on the phone the other day and I remember I was telling you, you get a lot of people from the GCC singing or rapping or whatever yeah, yeah. in an American voice or in, in English. And it's like, it's a bit try hard. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. tell they're trying to be cool and not, but yeah. initially when I first, if you weren't wearing a full Kandora, I would have thought you were an American soul singer. There's, there's no way. It was a compliment. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's no way that I would have thought you're an Arab in any sense of the wow. word from, from the voice. And you have that very old school you know, immediately, like I said to you, it brings back the old, the Marvin Gaye's and the, oh, man, and that's, the, that's the you know, the, that's what the, musicals that, the Cooks and the, Sam Cooke, yeah, Otis Sam Redding, Cook, Otis yeah, Redding yeah, that, that, that real, Donny Hathaway, yeah, that, 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 to, yeah. that raw soul, because yeah. I grew up on that stuff, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And bro, it's incredible to hear. And again, so many people, like I literally became a fanboy in like <laughs> one minute, went straight to your channels, listened to all I the tunes, them, that's, that's and I was kind, angry bro. because, let me tell you why I was angry. Yeah. I looked and there was like five tunes there. I was like, no, I need more than this. <laughs> well, I'm working on that. I'm working. On that. I feel like uh, I started the journey fairly late. Uh, okay. I came from a corporate background and I, I didn't like my voice. I, I'm still struggling with that. Um, I'm, honestly, I, I'm not even going gonna, to gonna front. I'm, I'm not lying at all. Like, I don't like my voice. I'm trying to work through that. Um, I'm my own worst critic. Okay. That's the truth. So for me, it took me a long time to... Also, music for me is very personal. You know, like, and I think maybe if you know, all my songs are very, very um, deep. Like, I try to make sure that I, I talk about things that, that matter to me. So for me, it's a very, very personal thing to, to let that out, to, to share that with people. So I try to make sure that, yeah, when I do make music, it makes something that, that I would like to shine a light on. Mm. And so I, I'm trying to build on something. I'm trying to build on that. And I only started about four or five years ago now. I say five years ago now. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. But I'm loving the journey. The journey's been amazing, man. I get to meet... Uh, People like, like yourself and I <laughs> get to be late for podcasts. <laughs> you get to get here four hours late, not breaking, not helping any stereotypes, to be honest, bro. <laughs> you know, it's not helping. I'm reinforcing stereotypes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black and Arab, the two yeah. latest people yeah. in the world together in one. It's like, I'd have oh, been here tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. Lucky, bro. So, and also, again, I remember I was in the gym 
and I was speaking to Chris, yeah. Chris Fade, and I was like, bro, you need to hear this dude's voice. <clears throat> we both, and he was like, man, so so for blah, blah, blah. And then he messaged me yesterday, a video of you on stage. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, I dude, Rami I Rami. know this guy. Yeah, I've known yeah. him for years, <laughs> but I didn't know he makes music. That's right. I've and known Chris Fade for a long time. But so many people that yeah. I've spoken to, from the thousand people I sent on WhatsApp message of your YouTube video, they were like- You spamming people yeah, now. <laughs> they were like, yeah, yeah, I know this guy, but I didn't know he makes music. Yeah, I don't think anybody knew. Uh, I think, it was, again, it was such a personal thing for me. Even my closest friends, nobody really knew. Like, I love to sing. I'm always singing. But for me to be able to sing in front of people, I'm, I'm, I'm also, I like to think I'm, I'm shy. Like, I, I'm very close. I'm like a hermit. Yeah. You know? So for me, I sing in front of my cast. My cast know I sing. <laughs> they don't like it, but. <laughs> <laughs> it depends, bro, where the cats are from. If they're from, if they're from Brooklyn, they love that stuff. But so did you grow up? Because again, another thing that happened, I yeah. was like, looking at your name, Abri. I know there's a singer called Abri. Abri, yeah. I love So I, I went to see Abri's page because I was like, have I mixed them up and this guy's got two pages and he's messing with me? <laughs> and then I realized, okay, this is a family affair. That's, yeah, he's a brother. He's, he's the veteran. He's the, the pioneer when it comes to music here. So how, how did it happen? Like, is you, are you coming from a very musical family? Talk me through it of where initially your family started getting into music. Yeah, is it something definitely. that... I think, I think it's a musical family. Um, my dad's a musician. He plays the piano, plays the guitar, plays the kanun. He sings. So we did grow up with a lot of music in the house. Uh, he had a lot of records, he had a lot of cassettes, uh, he had a lot of uh, uh, 8-tracks. So uh, there was a lot of access to music in, 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 the, in the house. And so we grew up and we played the cassettes and, uh, on, on, his, on the stereo, or we'd play some of the records um, on the turntable. So mm -hmm. we, you, we were always around music, you know what I mean? You come back home, my dad's recording something, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah, and then my, my brother got into music fairly young when he was in high school. And so um, he, he was actually, I think, the Michael Jackson of, of uh, Show Fight. I was in Show Fight Charger. Show Fight, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was called the Michael Jackson Show Fight Charger. And he did music, man, and he, he was a pioneer. He took it forward quite young. Uh, I always felt for me like uh, I didn't want to pursue something that I was, again, for me, it was first very personal. And then second of all, I was very uncomfortable uh, with singing in public. And then thirdly, I didn't like my voice. So it, I think those are factors were like, what would, but what do you mean you didn't like your voice? Okay, so you're singing around the house. I was singing. I'm taking a shower. I'm always singing. I have yeah. concerts in the shower. Yeah, right, full of <laughs> I'm the same. No one gets tickets to those. You know, <laughs> no, shampoo bottles. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but so, but surely the people that did hear you sing were saying, "Hold on a minute. There's something here." Yeah, but again, I'm I'm a, my worst cr critic. So even if I, if someone did tell me, "Oh, why aren't you singing?" I'd just be like, "Man." I'm singing in the shower, what's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm always singing. For me, it, it, it wasn't a journey that I was ready to take. Uh, public speaking for me was also another issue. I didn't like yeah. public speaking. So I didn't want to, uh, it makes me very uncomfortable to, to share music like that. I always find it strange how people say, I'm uncomfortable with public speaking. How much public speaking did you do to realize you're not uncomfortable with it? Because I feel like, <laughs> people make that judgment on themselves before they've even done any public speaking. They're like, oh, I'm not too good at it. I was like, are you gonna try it first and then say, hey, that didn't work or? No, I did, I did. I mean, I, I used to have, I used to be in a corporate environment. So I used to have a corporate job and I had mm. to do presentations, etc. And I was always anxious before mm. I had to do the presentation. And, and, and for me, again, I'm more, more with critics. So I, I do the presentation, I'm like, man, I could have done better. You know, I could have done better. Yeah. You know, I missed this point, I missed that point. So I think those kind of compounded the idea that, you know, I'm not good at this. I'm not good at being a public speaker. I'm not good at speaking in front of people. And then singing in front of people where it's easy to mess up. Mm. <laughs> you hit the wrong note, you forget the lyrics, et cetera, et cetera. So I think a lot of it lived in my head. A lot of those uh, ideas that I couldn't mm. do is left, lived in my head. And I can mm. think I came to a point where, you know what, I'm gonna challenge myself. Uh, uh, this is a point where I need to grow. Um, either I'll, I'll lead this path in a career, in a corporate environment, and do things where 10 years from now, I'll be unhappy. Mm -hmm. Or I chase something that not only creates a passion for me, but I can make a difference, a positive difference. And that's where the, sort of the music thing came through. I also want to start a company as well that does sustainability. And that was the initial idea. So I'm doing environmental projects, et cetera. And when I used to go for different projects for meetings, mm -hmm. I used to sing in the car. <laughs> I used to sing in the car. Used I used to sing at the meeting. Like, Let me tell you why our product is the best. <laughs> sustainability. Yeah, sustainability. <laughs> Just sing with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so things like that sort of, uh, I had to push myself. I had to challenge myself. Yeah. I was too comfortable in that little cocoon of a career. And I wasn't sure if this is who I was. Hmm. I kept thinking to myself, 
Is this who I want to be in the next 10 years, uh, next 15 years? You know what I mean? If God forbid anything happens to me tomorrow, will I look back and I'll yeah. be happy with what I've done? Is this the legacy that I want to leave? Yeah, like when stuff. people talk about me after, yeah. they're going to be like, yeah, he was really good at selling do. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, this guy, events. Yeah, yeah. Great event <laughs> <You know>? manager. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, budgeting, man. Mashallah, yeah. mashallah. Is that how you were like, did you, did you find a blend between both towards the end? Um, I still do events. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, not as much as I used to. Yeah. Now I try to spend most of my time being creative, um, trying to um, express myself in a way I think that, that, mm. that I couldn't have done five, ten years ago. So I'm just trying to build that journey. Mm. And it's also about developing myself as a person, as a human being, right? Because we always think about the five-year plan, you know what I mean? As a career. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, get my MBA in three years. I'm going to do this and this and that in three years. But as people, we, we remain the same. Mm -hmm. And corporate environments, and I want to get to... to um, to uh, indefinitely, but corporate environments, they always nurture the wrong characteristics. Mm. You know what I mean? You can be shrewd, and people love that. You can be aggressive, people love that. Oh, he gets things done. Yeah, yeah. But as a person, as a human being, empathy, those things, they don't, yeah, the, yeah. the corporate environment, they don't, they don't, it doesn't matter. It's not yeah. part of the KPIs. Yeah, you didn't fit in the end. You were finishing all your meetings with like, sign, till deliver, I'm yours. They're like, this, what's wrong with this guy? You know? <laughs> Too happy, man. Yeah. I mean, things like that kind of, I don't know, it opened my eyes up a little bit. And mm. I always thought about things like, man, I want to be I want to be a better person. Mm. A career might not be the best thing for me. And things just kind of snowballed. And man, alhamdulillah, now I'm doing music. And I, bro, the journey has been amazing. It's humbling. It's, mm. it's, it's honestly humbling. And I'm kind of glad I did it now because now I know myself better. Yeah, because yeah. you're growing as a person as well as an artist, right? So Most then, definitely. Because a lot of artists, you can literally see their growth through their music you listen to a song 10 years ago five years ago and then now and you can just see you follow their change that's right yeah. do you know what i mean yeah. I, I mean the good artists there's some of them that are still mumble rapping and i don't understand what they're saying till now um, i'm not hearing anybody <laughs> but I, I don't get it i don't yeah, get yeah it. i don't understand yeah. any of that yeah. so who were your inspirations growing up when it comes to music uh sam cook most sure. definitely sam cook is yeah. up there otis redding um um uh music soul child was a massive one yeah i love music soul child D'Angelo to a certain extent. Uh, when he's wearing clothes, like. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember in high school they did that. How's it yeah. feel? What's the song? How's it feel? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a massive song. But yeah. even the way he delivered that, I think that's amazing. Yeah. Lauren Hill for me is, is the pinnacle mm -hmm. of music. She's not a lyricist, but the delivery, the the, the her voice when she message, sings, yeah. like she's she's a conscious singer, uh, rapper. Like that's that's so rare to have all mm -hmm. those three things. You know, it's a triple threat. Uh, and obviously, uh, uh, Tupac was another inspiration. Mm -hmm. Tupac, I think, was, was he was I think he was ahead of his time by far. Yeah, he was ahead of his time. But again, he comes from, you know, like his mama Feeney yeah, yeah, yeah. was a revolutionary. She was a, a Panther. Panther. Yeah, yeah Panther. so he, whether he liked it or not, was raised in a way that was different to other people. He yeah, had yeah. he had a view of the world that was much more in depth. Most definitely, and grew up with the outside view on social commentary and, and, and what was happening. So you could even tell that even in his songs, even though he's wilding out, yeah, there's yeah. a message behind most of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know most what I mean? definitely. He had some anger, <clears> but <throat> how he could articulate himself as well <clears throat> as a rapper and talk about things that he saw in his, from his perspective and the introspection as well. I think that was, that was incredible. That <clears throat> was, as a youngin, like listening to rappers and talking about things like that, that was eye-opening for me. Hmm. And that was, I think that was one of the biggest insp uh, inspirations for me was, was yeah. Tupac Shakur. Because he, he, he grew up with an education outside of education. Yeah, so, yeah that's right. Yeah. So any, you will never find a panther or a revolutionary or anyone who's, who's introspectively looking at themselves, society, not raising their kids on books. Yeah, 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 Whatever sure. book it might be, yeah. whether it be the Malcolm X's and all of these. Yeah. So that's, I think that's why he was so articulate in what he was saying because he was reading a lot. That's right. And he right. was he was given a lot of information. Most definitely. So once you're a child and you start to take all that in, it's different than just some kid on the corner who's just decided I'm going to start rapping. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's why, I mean, I'm, I've always said, look, if you're a Tupac fan, you're a Nas fan. If you're a Jay Z that's fan, right, yeah. you're that's a Biggie right. fan. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's so there's, true, there's yeah. conscious yeah. and there's anthem making. Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah. get me wrong, Biggie, amazing. Most definitely. At anthem that making. Flow. That flow. Yeah. Eh. At anthem making yeah. and Jay Z, amazing at anthem making. Yeah. But I was always on the the Pac and Nas side because I needed, Common, I needed to see know. something yeah, yeah. To, to follow a journey in the lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It, Most definitely. It means nothing to me when you're talking about all this 
you know, women and, and diamonds and all that stuff. It's like, yeah, Popping well. Popping bottles, champagne. I, I, I never understood that. I yeah. mean, why are you boasting about material things? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But like Nas, uh, Common, you know, yeah. Tupac, you know, Most yeah. Def. These, these are the, the rappers that leave a legacy behind. And a message. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. a message. You know what I mean? They, they are talking to the, to the youth. They're talking to the people. I feel mm -hmm. like that's, that's, that's the power of music though, right? Mm. You know what I mean? You can tell somebody the same thing, but when you put it into, into words and put it into, into music, mm. that's deeper. And it lasts. It is, and people remember. And you know, I always thought when I was younger, I was like, why hasn't a rapper literally put the GCSEs or the SATs and broken down subjects? You can make it fun. You know? You can talk about science, <laughs> talk about molecules and this and that. And be digestible. Like, like, <laughs> somebody like Keras one or somebody oh. like Immortal <laughs> Technique. Now, oh, they, they go into it when they're talking. Yeah, yeah, Even yeah. cannabis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they're talking, they break down a lot of words. If they did that, do you know how many kids would pass their exams? That's so true, because though, Because right? you remember every lyric to you know, a Biggie song. You remember so every lyric to a thing song. That's so true. Never, never now, if you had before. cannabis talking about, you know, the molecules and the, the, the periodic <laughs> table and blah, 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 you know what I mean? They'll be mixing this and this and because explosions will H2 happen like this. Yeah, do, 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 do you know what I mean? H2O and the fire and this. And then, literally, they would just be like, okay, they do the science paper and they'll be like, all right, let me remember, let me remember that cannabis that song, song yeah. H2O. <laughs> right? and that chemistry, would be, that song called chemistry. Yeah, chemistry. Yeah. And that would break everything down. That's so now, true, though. Maybe don't steal the idea because I might still I might I might still do that. You know, but that is a way that you could reach so many of these kids. No, that's and if true, you're a good man. enough rapper, yeah, yeah. you can make it you can make it so that they don't even realize they're learning that from your from right. your music. I think nowadays it's more about the beats, man. So as long as you have a, a bass yeah. kicking, you, you can <laughs> I was you always you about the lyrics when it came to music. Most definitely always. I think I think we are losing that now though. Yeah, we're for sure. That, yeah, because everyone's into that those beats and it's like yeah. but the beats don't make anything. The beats are just they're there to kind of yeah make you move but the real stuff is in the lyrics that's exactly you know? it though and i think i think anybody can make anybody dance mm. but can you make somebody feel something exactly and that's, that's one the of the difference. things that i noticed from one of your songs it was you and the guitar and I, when i heard it i was like oh shit, we're going back oh like we're God. going back because that's what's up. you didn't need anything but you and the guitar there was no drums there was no there was nothing yeah, no yeah. kicks no hi-hats no n nothing yeah. and it was like when there's a song like that, or when there's a musician like that, or an artist like that, you have no choice but to soak in what they're saying. Oh man. Because you've got the beautiful strings that are just like, hey, listen, this is just a compliment to what I'm telling you yeah, in yeah. the background. Yeah. And that is something that's been lost over the years. That is really like, you, you cannot not listen. When you hear a song like that, you cannot not listen. But it's raw. It's raw. You know, it, it needs to be raw. It needs to be stripped yeah. down. You know what I mean? I think the the more raw we are with our music, the more the more we, we we're reaching to within. You know what I mean? To a mm. point where it's about you feeling something. Mm. You know what I mean? I can do the song and have some beats and some drums and and you know some percussions, whatever it is you want to do, um, and make people dance. But it's not the point. Mm. I'm not trying to make people dance. I want you to feel something. Trying to make your soul dance. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to light yeah. you know light something up. You know what I mean? And, and um, this is another Tupac thing, but he always said, um, I might not be the fire, but I'll spark that mm. fire, you know? I'll spark that, I'll be that, that spark to light the fire. Mm. I think that's important, you know? That's a, that's a legacy, that's something you leave behind. Mm. And then you leave something positive behind. You know what I mean? We, all, we can all be something positive, we can all change somebody. You know what I mean? It mm. could be that just that one song, the one line in the song, and that's all it is. So it's important for us to be as, as honest as we can. And for me, this is my music. This has to be as honest as, as I can. And the guitar and just me singing, that's as honest as I can be. I, that's so pure. Like, yeah, honestly, like be. when you hear something like that, it's just. And even look, when you music brings people together in ways that's incredible. That's true. It's a universal language, right? You can even when it comes to let's break it down to attraction. Yeah, yeah. The, a girl can look at a guy in, in the house. Yeah, you yeah. can be in a house party. She will never look at him twice. The second it comes to the end of that party where everyone's sitting around the, the couch and that guy picks up guitar and sings <laughs> in a beautiful voice, all of a sudden their whole perspective <laughs> of that guy changes completely, that's, completely. That's because of the energy, yes, that, that yes, it's the energy yes. that they've released something that's different. You're like, oh, hold on a minute. Most definitely. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then there's always haters in the corner going, oh, damn it, it's gone now. <laughs> it's gone. I had it. I've been chatting to that girl all night. This guy started singing and now it's over. It's over. There's no chance. Talking about hallelujah, whatever yeah. it is we sing. But, but that's the thing. So many places in the world where people will just pick up a guitar, yeah, yeah. you know, a bunch of friends, they'll yeah. be sitting around the fire and it'll be silent. Yeah. Apart from the guy singing, there's dead silence. Truth, yeah. And but all the focus is on what 
is but being music, played. Music does that, though. Yeah. Music is so powerful. And it's such a shame to see what, what music is being, being used. reduced to right mm. now, you know? And, and there's nothing wrong with, with, you know, trying to make a few dollars out of music, with pop music, etc. But I feel like it's such a strong medium. It's such a strong vehicle. Why, why not use it for, for, you know, for positive change? And that's the idea. And, and, and I think going back to Sam, Sam, uh, Sam Cooke and Otis Redding and the songs they used to make, uh, mm -hmm. Marvin Gaye. Yeah, these, are my, yeah. these are all my favorite people ever. But Marvin Gaye for me yeah. was incredible. Mm -hmm. um, um, was that? Martha, Martha. All of these songs. You know? all these, that's what I was saying. Your style reminds me of them, uh, but not just them. So you've got Michael Jackson, you've got Michael Sam Cooke, you've got yeah. Marvin Gaye. You have that, you know, one of my favorite Marvin Gaye songs, everybody obviously loves all of that. I've been really trying, you know, <laughs> sexual healing. Yeah. But growing up, that's not the one that caught me. Yeah, I used to play it, yeah. you know, whenever I'm just chilling with some girls and I'm like, oh, baby, now let's get down. <laughs> but the one that really reached me was songs like Mercy, Mercy Me, like those songs, the lyrics inside. And Where did all the blue skies go? Poison is the wind yeah. that flows. You know, that kind of thing. The, the, but like the messages. Songs, yeah. Earth Song. Yeah. Now, a lot of people would have seen Earth Song and all they got from it was Michael Jackson going, ah! <laughs> but the but lyrics. The lyrics. Yeah. Look what we've done to the world, yeah. you know? And it's just like, all these songs get swept under the radar. But the more you look into Michael Jackson, the more you realize 90% of his song was social commentary on the world. Man, was that Man in the Mirror? Yeah. Man in that the Mirror. That song was incredible. All of them. They're, they're so, like, people... They look to face value, but there's people out there that go, oh, hold on a minute. Yeah, yeah. Like if you break down, like, I mean, I, and I did this, um, I think it was maybe three weeks ago. I just went on a Michael Jackson marathon. Fair just enough. me by myself. Fair enough, yeah. And I started looking at all of them. You can be my baby, it don't matter if you're, you're black, black or white. Or white. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or you look at every Michael Jackson song, yeah. pretty much 95% of them, there's a very deep message in them. More stuff in but them. Michael was so smart that he would make people sing that stuff without even realizing what they're singing. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I think it's it maybe too well. He did it too yeah. well, you know? So people, he's they, watching they dance yeah, and yeah, he, yeah. he don't watch him do his thing. Uh, they hear his voice, but they don't get the, the message behind that. You yeah. know, Man the Mirror is such a deep song. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, inc it's incredible. It's an incredible song when you it break is. down those lyrics. Yeah. I'm starting with the Man in the Mirror. Mm. That's what it changes. I'm gonna make a change. Yeah, like, that's all incredible. Of them. Dude, yeah. look at look at Freddie Mercury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, look how Bohemian look how Bohemian Rhapsody yeah, started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just killed a man. Yeah, like, yeah. The the song. The, the, listen to what he's saying. There's a message behind, you know, of face value yeah, there yeah, yeah. that is telling. Like, so many people are trying to make a change, just like Michael yeah, was saying. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like music somewhere along the line became. Redundant. Yeah, so, you know, sometimes I feel yeah. old yeah, yeah, yeah. because I talk to my, my friends and all that stuff and I'm like, listen to that stuff here. Listen listen to a bit of this stuff. This yeah, is yeah, this yeah, is the real yeah, stuff. And they're yeah. like, bro, this is 60 years old, this song. And I'm just like, yeah, but this was music. That's but, why my kids are not like that. My, my twins now are four years old. Every day when, I'm going to send you a video of them. You're going to crack up, bro. I love that, Every I love day, that. that's the only music they listen to on the way in the car, on the way to school. And this, is like, this, this is how you make you that's know, it I'm, I'm making sure these kids are that doesn't get yeah, lost yeah. anywhere in them yeah, yeah, yeah. you see them in the morning I'm gonna send you things. I swear to God no word of a lie every time we're on the way to school all you see is them in the back going I was bored by the river oh, man, like, that's their that. favorite song I love that do you know what I mean I this is how and it's like slowly th this is what they need to listen to yeah, yeah, yeah most definitely not this I'm not I'm start naming rappers and stuff but the, like if you're not they say that music is food for thought, uh, food for thought, and food for your soul, right? Mm -hmm. And it's true. Whatever you're taking in, yeah. I don't think people realize it's food. It's it's it's, it's for your health. It's either medicine your or mental poison. health. Yeah, exactly. It's either medicine. I think, and it's, that's that's a, that's a very true fact. Either medicine or poison. And a lot of songs sometimes now they sort of, um, uh, I don't say socialize women, but they they sort of reduce women to being objects. It's become the norm now. Um, Okay, it might be fun to dance to it, but this is what kids listen to now, and this is what they expect. This is what they think they expect it to be, and to me, that's incredible. Why not shape them to be to be you know the men of the future? Yes, that's the idea, and, and so I, like, I love what you're doing with the kids because I feel like that's how you shape them. Yeah, it's what they listen to, it's what they read, it's what they look at. Exactly. You know what I mean? If all they're doing is is, is watching um, Housewives of, yeah. of Miami, yeah. whatever, <laughs> and Baby Shark, like, yeah, all right, cool. There's a Baby Shark. It's repetitive, <laughs> but that's not. 
benefiting their soul. Most definitely. Do you know and, what I mean? Yeah, and, and that's I, beautiful that what you're doing. Is this, this how you're shaping the, yeah, the next I think, generation? I think a lot of parents need to play that old school stuff. Most definitely. It's Prince. a powerful thing. Prince. If your kid doesn't know who Prince is, Oh, something on. very wrong, wrong I don't care which name they know him as whether it's the <laughs> artist formerly known as you know Prince what? or Prince <laughs> okay. or whatever but all of these people well, Quigley Mark whatever yeah. it is, boy, this is yeah, this and is I try to look now I'm like is it because I'm not in touch with the music now that I can't find these people or maybe I'm not li like I don't listen to music anymore like I don't listen to the radio when I drive oh, right, or anything okay. like that like yeah. what's happening now I don't care about yeah, yeah. unless it's someone like you who too kind, too kind. like captured me bro and took yeah. me back that's oh, what wow. i like about your music it yeah. took me back i was like oh i'm yeah i'm young so again kind, this is the stuff that i used to listen to this yeah, is the stuff yeah, that yeah. was missing yeah, yeah. so it's a shame that the, the industry in these days don't really play i mean are they playing this stuff or is there is it not being i don't think i don't think there's a platform for not only local musicians but also for music like that mm. uh, i think it's I don't say it's too powerful, but I think we have people like Liam Bridges nowadays, uh, Jacob Banks. Mm -hmm. These are soul singers that are making beautiful music. I don't think they they have twerk value. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. The songs don't make you twerk. They're not TikTokable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Unfortunately, mm. that's the truth. But these songs are powerful songs. River, there's a song called River mm. by Liam Bridges. It's a beautiful song. It's about salvation. It's about redemption. You know what I mean? Um, Jacob Banks, he's constantly just pushing the boundaries. Um, there's a song uh, by Jacob Banks, I Love to Sing, um, that I, I feel like those lyrics are incredibly deep. And this is nice to see, like, you know, the youngins nowadays, they, they have some, some soul left. Mm. And this is the kind of songs I like to listen to. So, I mean, unfortunately, radio stations don't play this music, but I, I go out and look for them. Mm. Uh, Rika Badu is some, somebody that... Eric Badu. Come on now. Come on now. She's, she's an amazing songwriter. She's an amazing musician. She's, she's an artist. something else, bro. Yeah, yeah. Again, her one-liners and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and It was beautiful to see Eric Badu and Common. Yeah, together. Come on now. Bro, and that's the thing. That's See, that to me is a power couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Not Beyonce and Jay-Z. Don't get me wrong. You know. I'm with you. 100%. These are the kind of power couples. Yeah, yeah. Like, if we were made in his image, then call <laughs> us by our names. Most yeah, intellects do not believe in God, but the fear is just the same. I love that. Come bro, on. I just got goosebumps, bro. I just got goosebumps. <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. Like, these kind of one liners, these lyrics are just like, I feel like they're getting lost now, man. I think, I think, I think there, there will be a, a revival of, yeah. of real music. There and, needs to be. And we're moving towards that. I think, yeah. I think people are, especially now, the youngins, they're, I think they're, they're always looking for, for purpose. And I mm. think music drives you towards purpose. And so there will be revival. I believe there will be revival. You better make the revival, mate. That's why I'm bringing you on here, bro. I've already set up about 15 tunes with you and other artists. So sorry about that. But I've been calling. Bro, yesterday, so I went to... Produced by Jibba. Bro, Jibba I'm not even joking. I went to Freak's listening party. So he released yeah, his yeah, new yeah. album. I've I seen was, some images, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was there yesterday. Yeah. Bro, there was about seven other artists there that I know. And I was just like, yeah, bro. You're doing a tune of Abri. You're doing a tune of Abri. You're doing a tune of Bro, all of them. And they were like, yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> like, all right, calm down, bro. I was like, no. I was like, listen, I don't ask you for nothing. I'm asking you for this. Oh, man, Even if it's just kind. for me, bro. Too kind, um, too kind, bro. Like, how important is is uh, the Emirati music, uh, you know, making it, not, not just Emirati music, but also Emirati artists. How important is that to you to kind of make make it apparent, not just here, but worldwide as well? I think it's about time. I think if you look at the country, the country, I think it grew up really quickly, 50 years. And, you know, we have this amazing infrastructure. We have mm -hmm. this amazing uh, life here is beautiful. But the art scene didn't grow as quickly as, as the city grew or as the country grew. Uh, and I think now things are sort of developing. And, and we, we, I think we're in an amazing position because we have all these different nationalities in one spot mm -hmm. and we're making different music. But I think it's about time that we sort of come together to create a sound that sounds like UAE. When you hear it, it's like, yo, man, that's, that's, that's the UAE music. That's, that's, that's the sound. And I think we're lacking that right now. But we, we're slowly going in that direction. Um, there is something I'm working on that sort of hopes to bring this together. It's a project called Roots. And nice. it's about that, bring, bring that foundation, yeah, yeah. Roots. Yeah. So we're trying to bring the foundation. And basically, it's like a weekend. Uh, uh, it's a series of events over weekends. And it's about bringing collaboration between all the different art disciplines. So we're doing music, we're doing uh, painting, we're doing um, you know, sculpture, we're doing fashion designing, uh, uh, graffiti, um, murals, all these things sort of come together in one place. Podcasting. <laughs> but, <laughs> podcasting, yeah, most definitely. <laughs> come on. This is an art as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is an art as well. Yeah. So we're trying to get all the different disciplines in one place 
And it's about collaboration as well. So imagine I'm singing a song. I was born by the river. And then I come in. <laughs> in a little tent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we have a painter painting yeah, a song. Painting a river at the same time while it's doing it. Inspired yeah. by the music or vice versa. Mm -hmm. I'm inspired by the music. A violinist with, you know, with a ballet, ballet dancer. On a projector. And while you're singing, he's whatever that song's making, whatever uh, emotions whatever is reacting. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's about inspiring each other to create music. It's about creating something new. Mm. And I think that's what we're lacking. Because right now, for, uh, whenever I do an event, I'm always, you know, I'm doing, okay, I know I'm doing five, five originals, five covers. But I don't have a chance to, um, to jam with different musicians. I don't have a chance to sort of create something new with musicians. And I think, I think that's, that's something we're lacking. Mm. Uh, a home for art, a home for music, a home for different disciplines. And I think something like that uh, is, 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 it's been a long time coming. <laughs> <laughs> long, long time coming. But, but, but you uh, know change is going to come. Change is going to come. That's <laughs> yeah. the idea. Yeah. Oh, yes, it yeah, is. And I always believe, like, yeah, if, if you want to change something, you start the change. You're already doing it, bro. Yeah. I haven't sang this much in the podcast since I started it. We're on episode 80, bro. <laughs> but I came in to sing. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just came here for you to play the guitar for me while I sing, bro. Fair and, enough. Again, how important is it for you? Because I've noticed... Kandura, Ghatra, Aigal most is a look for you. Yeah, How definitely. important was that for you to be like, because there's other artists, yeah. uh, even your brother, yeah, yeah, yeah. who isn't pushing that narrative of, because that's a, it's, another, it's a juxtaposition, isn't it, right? You see a picture of a, a, a Bedouin or an or a Arab walking yeah. in the street with a guitar on his back. So yeah, that yeah. juxtaposition together is, is really interesting to see. I think this is, this is what we are. Uh, this, uh, I'm a Marathi. Uh, I love the fact I'm a Marathi. And I had a lot of issues with identity. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what mm. I was. And now I think now that I'm older, I'm comfortable in being who I am. I'm a Marathi. I'm, uh, I'm Omani. I'm, mm. I'm African. These are all things. Z Zanzibar is my heaven on earth, by the way. Just bro, Zanzibar you know, is bro. beautiful. It's my favorite place in the world. It's an amazing place yeah. to be. It's a beautiful place. So this is who I am. And I'm, I'm showcasing my identity. And what made me is all those things. Uh, this country made me who I am today. Um, the things I've seen, the things that I've, I've been experiencing, this is what made me. And so why would I not be part of that? Why would I not want to showcase that? Yeah, so I'm very, I'm, I think I, I like to wear my heart on my, on my sleeve because this is what it is. I like to be as honest as possible. And it's important for us to express ourselves as, as honestly as, as, as we can. And for me to wear the, the condora, I'm proud to do that. With God, I feel like. Man, I wish I could do that, bro. Why not? <laughs> bro, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. So my grandfather used to work for Sheikh Zayed very close in Allah security. Allah Allah. And he offers him a passport. Oh, really, eh? But my Lebanese grandfather was like, <laughs> Why do I need your back desert passport? And I was like, till this day, we're just like, oh, bro. Come on, pops. Bro. And, and look at me, bro. I look, I look like a mixture of Italian, Albanian. <laughs> I could be from anywhere, dude. I'm not typical because that happens with Lebanese a lot. Yeah. Like, you can't tell exactly where they're from or whatever. Yeah. I put a Ghatra and a Gal and, and Kandora on, bro. They, I look like, well, you know, those Russian guys that come for <laughs> holiday here and they're walking around the like, mall with the Kandora that's up to their calf and the long socks and stuff. Taking and pictures in the campsite. People would laugh there. at me. But yeah, yeah. I wish, I mean, I think the Kandura Qatar Agal is one of the most elegant most stuff, pieces man. of clothing ever. I, enjoy I would love it. to be yeah. wearing that crisp white can I literally, literally leave my house like this. <laughs> ah, I'm ready. Like, I wish I could, bro. Honestly, I would wear nothing but Kandura. Uh, I, I think you should, bro. I think you I, should. I mean, I know uh, I'm getting co-signed here, but, <laughs> but, but I People would laugh at me, bro. Nah, They'd just I be just, like, I who's this tourist, bro? I, I think it's in your head. You're, 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 you're worse I mean, look. I might get the Emirati package and get a Nissan Patrol as well. <laughs> so that might give me a bit more leeway if now. I'm driving a patrol, <laughs> you now, know. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. It doesn't. I, f I feel like it's important for me to do that. So uh, like I, I want to make sure that people know this is mm. where I'm from. This is what I'm presenting. And, and alhamdulillah, I can't complain. Like it's, it's, been, it's been a beautiful journey. And so I'm, I'm loving yeah. the, the journey. I'm loving bro, I'm loving the journey. It's only been three days for me with the journey of your music, bro. <laughs> but I'm already, I just feel like I'm already like, ready to just stop like being going hey mate calling you every two days have you recorded another song yet because <laughs> a new track out yeah because <laughs> like you've got four million views and 3.9 million are mine dude. <laughs> like so i need some more material but on that note Friend. i need you to play something for me and for the guys dude and sure. uh Sure. I'm just sure. gonna be quiet. I might, there might be a one or two like, oh shit! Yeah. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna, you're get that water, get that water, do that. <coughs> Andy Fali, Bumblebee, Bumblebee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get all that because people need to know, bro. You're gonna help me out with the, with the chorus? Yeah, <coughs> bro. I think you might know the song. What, what song are you singing? 
Heavy. I'm singing heavy. Oh, I love that song. Life's so heavy now. <laughs> I love that song. I listened to that in the shower and on the car on the, on the way here. And I, I, this song was, was something I wrote um, during, during the lockdown. And for me, I was going through the period, but I didn't want to write a song that's depressing. I want to write a song about hope. Mm-hmm. And so that kind of, that song sort of came about on its own. So I, I love singing the song. I love the fact that, you know, we start off with a little despair and we mm. end with, you know, with that hope. and Again, that. the journey, the story. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. And that's what it should be. It should be a story. Life's so heavy now. Let me give you the shitty version first <laughs> before you hear the real thing. <laughs> and again, that's guitar the and the voice. All you need, man. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me just get into my zone now because I'm about to zone out. <clears throat> I'm a little low. Uh, oh, sorry. All good, man. <clears throat> Life's so heavy now. Everything is so brand new <clears throat> Life's so heavy now Everything, everyone Is so brand new I'm so damaged now there's a weight on my shoulders bringing me down There's a hole in my chest, pain with every breath bringing me down You see the world's gonna change in the blink of an eye So I'm gonna get by, oh we're gonna get by, yes we're gonna get by Cause life's so heavy now Everything, everyone So brand new, so brand new See life's so heavy now Everything, everyone Is so brand new Yeah, yeah how much I lie now To the weights on my shoulders Bring me down I've got my head held high And the world's gonna change In the blink of an eye And I'm gonna get by Oh, you're gonna get by Cause life ain't so heavy now Everything and everyone it's a whole brand new It's a whole brand new It's a whole brand new See life ain't so heavy now I can't help but smile I can't help but smile As I'm making my way As I'm making my way Cause life ain't so heavy now Everything Everyone, so hope in you, so hope in you. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> bro, your voice, bro, seriously, it gives me goosebumps, man. Thank you Honestly. so much. You're too kind. You're too nah, kind nah, nah, so nah, much. nah, bro. I appreciate you too, bro. Kind. Too kind. Oh, I love that shit, man. <laughs> it's, honestly, like, it's one of those things that I could just listen to because. How do I explain this? It's, it's not it's not something that you have to try to listen to. Like it's literally something that bro, you know this is how I'm gonna explain it. This is the metaphor I'm gonna I'm gonna say. You know how people have sleep paralysis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. So they're like, oh so I felt something pinning me down and I couldn't move. Yeah, yeah. And I was just stuck there with my eyes. Bro, that's what it is, bro. When you start singing oh, wow, man. this I'm not going to call it a demon, but it's a, this, this happy <laughs> butterfly just flies on your chest and goes, oh, shit, you better sit here for five minutes because you ain't going nowhere. Like, oh, you, wow, you, you get into that kind of like, not only that you can't, you don't want to go nowhere else, bro. Oh, you man. just want to sit there and just be like, oh, shit, I just got my, yeah, you're singing at my wife's 
birthday party. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I got a good present for free. <laughs> My enough, wallet's bro. still heavy now. <laughs> bro, it's it's incredible, bro. It's incredible. Thank you so much, man. That's too kind. That's Why too kind. is there not more of your music out there, bro? I'm working a lot more. I'm working on no, I, 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 I don't take that as a... <laughs> no. Being your new manager. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we got work to do. And I feel like in the next year, you need at least two albums out, bro. And that's a lot of work. I'm, but I'm hey, with you. I'm with you. I'm willing to work you that hard. <laughs> no, bro, honestly, uh, for me, uh, again, like the whole journey has been humbling. And, and, and words like those are the motivating, you know what I mean? I'm one worst critic. So when I hear things like this, I, I, I'm, I'm supremely humble. I'm supremely like grateful for, 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 to hear anything positive on my music. Bro, honestly, I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. Like, too honestly, kind, bro, man, honestly. your voice is sick, bro. Thank you so it's much, sick. man. Like, it got to the point that I should have let you sing at the end because now I just want to listen to more <laughs> songs, bro. It's just like, uh, it's crazy, bro. We need we need more music out. All right, like, the time. world needs to know, bro. It's coming, it's coming. I'm working on, on a few projects. Bro, it's now crazy. I've got, like, album cover images in my head and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> just like... <laughs> We're part, all of, part of the same family now, man. Yeah, bro. So, I mean, like, yeah, uh, man. We'll do, man. We'll yeah, do, we need to get those yeah, collabs yeah. in as, yeah. as well because you need to be on everyone's stuff and everybody needs to be on your stuff and everybody... This is another problem that I find. Community needs to change when it comes I in the music industry. I agree with you. I think, And I think it is changing. I mean, there should be more collaborations. There is. The People scene, are selfish. The scene is, the scene is, uh, They're like, I, I if I collaborate with them, maybe... It will take away. No one's gonna take your fans. Yeah, yeah. Like no one's gonna, no one's gonna make your music worse by bringing another person on it. It's just growth, bro. All of it is Most growth. Of that growth. That, that's. I think that's that's the strong word to yeah. use. Growth. I think. And we. I think. I don't say we work in silos hmm. in, in the different communities. We have different musicians working with each other or working within a small group of people. But, I mean, the potential we have to create some beautiful music if we all work together. Mm -hmm. It's insane, bro. The amount of things we could do. Yeah. What? And events, even events, bro. Yeah. Even events. Uh, let's get your mic a bit closer. Oh, sorry. Your mic's getting heavy now. Ah, <laughs> oh, bro. Like, you don't have any plans after here, right? Sorry? You don't have any plans after here, right? No, no, no. I'm okay. hosting a personal concert, bro. <laughs> <laughs> do it. And I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, performing. Yeah. You are now late, so you're going to stay for an extra hour. We do like a do Yeah, let's do that, bro. Um, if, you could, if you could write a song... And perform with anyone in history one person lauren hill lauren hill you like to do a track of lauren hill i would love to do a track of lauren hill let's make it happen one second bob <laughs> lauren <laughs> what up no. yeah bob marley bob marley oh, oh man again back to bro show me a bob marley song that didn't have some great message in it bro bob marley man he i think and also the the kind of music that he used to make he was a pioneer reggae music nobody mm -hmm. heard about reggae music until he came out with his music redemption mm -hmm. song you know come on now no man to cry oh, pirate. oh bro <laughs> I, I gotta stop singing bro because i'm not the singer here bro. yeah all of those bro but yeah he was a pioneer in so many different ways and man he left he left the legacy it's, music is still, still heard today it's mm -hmm. still classics today it's still relevant today that you have an impact that's mm -hmm. a massive impact did they impact you a lot because I, there's a lot of again there's one thing having a good voice but again, why I really like your music, and I'm gonna keep saying that, and I'm sorry if it feels like I'm actually this is not there's no paid promotion in it. Like, but you're very you transfer the funds. Yeah, right? exactly. You're very <laughs> introspective. You're very like there's nothing more beautiful than somebody hearing somebody trying to find themselves as well through their own music. Yeah, yeah. Like you can tell that you still haven't figured out the journey Most that you're taking, Most and definitely. you're being very introspective, and it's very, you know. You have the neo soul element and you have the old soul element like what kind of made you think this is what i want to sing about this is the direction that i want to go down i think i think a lot of it was the journey i was going through in terms of understanding the fragility of life mm -hmm. you know yeah uh, not to be too morbid no but <laughs> this is gonna bring because i have a question on here that's uh okay. very yeah. attached to that uh, i think the fragility of life and Trying to trying to leave something, and I think the first song I did uh, was called "Growth." One of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I people like that song more than heavy. For me, like, heavy yeah. to me is, is so deep, but they like growth more. Growth is amazing. Yeah, but the chorus is "Young and keep on growing," and that's the thing. Now I realize what I'm meant to do. Whatever I'm trying to build is not for myself. Um, there's a saying: um, "He who plants the seed." Um, knowing they won't see the shade of the tree. That's one of my favorite currents. A man that plants a seed, knowing yeah. that he won't uh, he won't sit in the shade of the tree. It's, uh, it's trying to learn, understand the meaning yeah, of life. Yeah. So basically, it's like you look. Look, it's 
he plant this seed. Oh, in which is his shade he will never sit in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it, shows yeah, you, yeah, right, yeah. it shows you that, listen, it's not about you. Yeah. You're doing something for the rest of the world. Most you know definitely. I mean? A selfless act. Yes. That you don't have to plant a tree. Yeah. And that's so selfless because you're like, this is for somebody in a hundred years. Yes, yes. They come, not my family. I don't know them. They're not attached to me. But yeah. it's more, it's a one a oneness of the world. Exactly. You know? uh, and for me, it's about all life. It's not only about uh, about hum humanity. Mm -hmm. It's also about any living being. You know what I mean? For me, the deepest worship um, to a supreme being is to treat another living being mm -hmm. uh, equal uh, or, or or as kind as I can be. You know what I mean? I love animals. I love cats. I love dogs. I love horses. I love any any living being. I love animals. Mm -hmm. Snakes not so much, but <laughs> 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 maybe not snakes or spiders. Yeah. But um, even then, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out of my way to kill a spider. Yeah, yeah. But the idea is that I mean, to worship a supreme being by uh, appreciating the life that he's created, appreciating mm -hmm. nature. You know, what I mean, you can walk in the desert and, and, and look at the trees and look at. It's you know, so similar, bro. Yeah, yeah. bro. I, I, but this, this is. I think this is appreciating like the the vastness of of this mm -hmm. this, this universe. Even you know what I mean. And understanding how how humble we should be mm -hmm. to be compared that. to what we're doing. Yes, yeah, right? most definitely. It's insane how many people. <clears throat> I don't want to say this in a because I am far from perfect and I'm far from figuring out my journey none of us and are. everything. Yeah, none of us are. But it's insane how little people sit down and think introspectively about the world and what's going on and the meaning of. I mean, and this is why religions. A lot of people are like, oh, I'm atheist, I don't believe in... But even if it's for one hour a week in church where Christians go or the synagogue, or that time, they're introspectively thinking about life and who they are, what their purpose is. Most even if it's for an hour. Yeah. There's a lot of people that don't do that. Yes. They don't They don't think about that. Forget about all this. And this is, again, why I don't like you know this new rap and all that stuff. And even old rap, there's a lot of it. But yeah, yeah. I enough. couldn't care less about material things dude. Yeah, yeah. You can't, well, like uh, in the sense of it this is a fart in the galaxy and you're going to die our life is so fleeting that the, the time that you spend thinking about that stuff re really irrelevant dude. most definitely and i know it's a very cliche saying saying you're healthy your family's healthy your kids are healthy that's the most important thing yes. that's a very cliche thing to say but it's so deep and real. It that is. Nothing matters, dude. Nothing matters. None of this matters. Most definitely. Apart from these very simple, basic things that are free. That's the truth. That's the truth. And for me, the word, I mean, my mom is one of the biggest influences. She taught me my manners. She taught me how to treat other people. You know what I mean? Everybody's mm -hmm. the same. Everybody's the same. Mm -hmm. And to impart that on me as her son, and for me to impart it on if it's not my nephew, my niece, or it's, it's all my kids, that's how we leave a legacy behind. So I keep telling people, you know, um, when people pass away, I hope their life lives on in you. Because what they teach you in this life is what you take forward and teach somebody else. Mm -hmm. So I hope that light, that positivity they teach you, the, the good thing they teach you, the manners, the saying thank you, the saying please, the appreciating um, the, uh, living beings, mm -hmm. those things you pass on to the next generation and the next and the next and the next. And it's a purpose that we have. It's our purpose. And so for me, it's very important that I understand my purpose while I'm here. Mm -hmm. what, is, uh, what are we meant to, to be doing? What, am, what can I do? What can I, how can I be part of the ecosystem um, and create something that I feel like I can leave behind? In a positive way. In a positive way. Yeah, it's crazy because like everything that's worth anything is free, man. Most definitely. Like a smile can change the world. Most definitely. And this is the thing is like I had this conversation with friends of mine. They're like. Dude, why are you always joking and, and, and laughing and making jokes and trying to make people laugh and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know how difficult life is in general with all the, all the issues and all the problems that people have and all the things, whether they're big or small. If they can forget about that for the one, two, three, 20 minutes that they're with me, if I can achieve being a clown and being that dumb and saying some stupid stuff, that will make them laugh and make them forget about that for a second, then that's me done. Like, uh, Most stuff. Do you know what I mean? And I, th I, I love that. And I feel we don't laugh enough nowadays. We, we, you know, we don't smile enough nowadays. I think everybody wants to it's be so hard. Pure. Yeah. yeah. Everybody wants to be too hard, though. You know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm G. I'm OG. No, man. It's too much, bro. Yeah. It's too much. Yeah. And not just that. We've been taught to 
and it's I, I don't know how this happened but people have been taught to measure success on material things that's true yeah. and that's insane to me that is so true and and we're living in this cycle where we're, we're how constantly how do you looking value forward. that like if you have raised good kids if you're good to your wife if people generally enjoy being around you that is so successful like you have succeeded so much yeah. in life yeah. more than are you most again i can't judge and i can't point and give you accurate numbers most definitely but a vast majority of people that are super rich and whatever are not unhappy that, yeah, yeah. They're, they're either not that nice people that either got their money in a way so true. that isn't that that is questionable Eth- you know not ethical. Of the, yeah of the yeah. ways they did it and they're not happy i think i think that's that's an important thing um and i think it's very similar to the, the whole career thing i was going through um, I was making good money. Alhamdulillah, I was, mm. was going good. You were successful in an Arab mom's eyes. Yeah, you, you were know? successful. Yeah. Doctor, engineer. <laughs> but they don't understand. Yeah. Government job. You yeah. know, I, I was I was happy doing those jobs, but I wasn't happy as a person. You know what I mean? And yes, okay. Uh, I, I had a big car, a fancy car. I had you know I had enough to travel every six months, um, but I still didn't know who I was. You know what I mean? I was still uncertain who I was. And it was interesting to see, I think that sort of, uh, and I don't keep going back to this, but to see like looking at my future and looking at, you know, how far I go forward, is this what I want to be? Is this what I'm going to be? The stress yeah. that I'm, I'm going through, the bureaucracy, the politics, etc. Is that what I want for myself? Is that one for my, ch- for my, for my kids? Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and I think the answer was, was very clear. Uh, I can build something that I believe in with a light that I will find. Which is not work. Choose yeah. a job you, you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Exactly, it's a passion. And for me, like I, I'm so grateful. Uh, you don't understand how grateful I am. Mm. Like I'm constantly grateful. When I perform somewhere, when I, when I get opportunities like this, I'm supremely grateful because it's such a blessing to be able to do something I love and, and sort of have a, have a platform to do it and make, make enough to, to be sustaining myself. And it's, mm. I'm the lag, I can't complain. Like this is, this, it's beautiful, it's a blessing. That's the, that's the way it is, bro. Like even at Zanzibar, like I was saying to you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go there before the pandemic, two, three times a year if I can. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Love that place, I'm going bro. summer, hopefully. Bro. I'll be there in summer. Speak Swahili? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. yeah. yeah? Not as good as it should, but yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll yeah. do some Swahili later. <laughs> um, love that place. And I remember sitting there with my wife once. Yeah. And we were, cause we always stay n- near the beach, but by the villages and stuff. Mm. And I was looking and I could see these kids. And it's like that in a lot of places in Africa. Yeah. Now, an outside Westerner would be like, they have nothing. But they're sitting there, 20 of them, running after a tire, bro, wheeling <laughs> it, or chasing a chicken. And they're having the most fun in the world. Bro. Most of them. They're having the most purest, natural the purity fun. Yeah, yeah. Forget iPads, forget all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. They, the community, they're all playing together. There's yeah, 20, yeah. 30 of them. That's right. From sunrise to sunset, playing, climbing, doing this, chasing each other. And that's real, not this whole, oh, I've got an iPad 5, 6, or whatever they're called, or whatever. And or this is playing the online. Yeah. And you, you don't see the other kids, you're, you're, just, you're hearing them over, over, the, over the speakers, yeah, over the there's nothing. Headphones. There's nothing more beautiful than that. And then, again, you go to all these parts of the world that the Western world would say third world, mm-hmm. but they should really take a leaf out of their page because... I've never been to an African country in my life, and I've been to a few yeah. where the people are not happy. Most definitely, because they have all the needs of men. Bro, look at all these words, bro. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> you know, all of these things. What, and lying, that's, is it and, Lion King? Yeah, <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. People think it's Lion King. Yeah. Nah, bro, it's Swahili, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an actual way of life. Yeah. Pole pole. Pole pole, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Pole pole, bro. All of the, it's, the people are genuinely, not only are they genuinely outgoing to each other they're, they're, they're very welcoming they're very you know a poor person will give you his last piece of bread most definitely a rich person would think twice about inviting you to the house to have the meal that's so true that's so Do true you know what i mean but the, it's, the, it's the innocence the purity of it yeah. all you know and we, we, we i think we, we we're losing out on that now yeah it's it's slowly we're being that. yeah we're forgetting that it's slowly being touched man what does the i mean right now you're performing in a lot of places I'm yeah, seeing you all over the place. Yeah, 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 I've been yeah. doing and quite, quite, quite a lot of events. About, it's about bloody time, bro. <laughs> it's about bloody time. And it's been nice because now events have started up again after, after yeah. you know, the last two years of going into, you know, hiatus or lockdown, etc. Now things are opening up again, at Expo, etc. So mm-hmm. it's been, it's been, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Um, I used to, I used to, I still get a little anxious before I get on stage, 
but uh, I love okay, the experience. let's break into that. What are you anxious about? Are you anxious that people won't like your voice or are you anxious yes. about... I'm anxious about people not like my voice. I'm anxious about um, forgetting the lyrics. I'm anxious about, you know, um, missing out timing. I, Do you forget lyrics? Yeah, I'm horrible with lyrics. I'm Your own lyrics? No, 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 my own cover. lyrics. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and now I'm sort of, I'm getting more comfortable. I can yeah. even improvise on, on stage, yeah. you know, I just make my own lyrics, you know. Yeah. Uh, but I think a lot of it, again, lives in my head. It's, it's things I create that don't usually happen, you know. I create these scenarios in my head. You know, I, I go to the worst place. Mm. I'm getting better at it now. Mm. And this is part of the development. It's part of getting better. Uh, so now I sort of try to shut it out. And I, all I try to do is make sure I do the best I can and have a good time with the boys on the stage. Mm. That's the idea. Like, we jam, we're making music. Mm. You know what I mean? We're making music. Like, how? how well, look, everything in this world is, is vibrations, right? Yeah. And even down to this, it's only a solid because it's vibrating at a certain speed. Yeah, yeah. So while you're playing the instruments and singing the songs, you're sending our vibrations into the immediate atmosphere around you. I had a conversation about you know this just today. Yeah. About this, yeah. So regardless whether you like it or not, you're shining light. So whoever's in that vicinity, whoever walks into that area of, of vibration that you're sending out there is benefiting highly. Man, and, and, and I think that's how I look at it now. So instead of worrying about what I'm going to do, I go in with an intention. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? This might be my last performance. This is how I'm going to make the best out of this moment. I'm gonna create that light, and, and so now now I'm, I'm getting better. At it. So I think we need to make a song called Light, mate. <laughs> <laughs> towards the light, the song called Towards the Light. Oh, there you go, bro. <laughs> so what's what, what do you see in the future for you? What do you want to be doing? Now? Uh, I want to make a lot more music. Uh, <laughs> we got that covered, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make a lot more music. I definitely want to do that. Uh, I want to perform. Uh, I want to take my music um, internationally as well. I want to perform at festivals. Uh, I want to create a platform for the youngins so they can make music as well. Uh, I mean, I want to see the next generation coming in, making some new music, putting UAE in the map, you know what I mean? Putting the region on the map by the this, this sound that we create, this, this, uh, um, this, this, this message that we have to share, you know? So those are the things I think I can help do, get the next generation come and do some music. Get the twins do some music. Yeah, but they're ready, bro. They're ready. <laughs> Why not? Bro. Why not? They I, only I, listen to like that kind of stuff. That's what's up. Only listen. So to I that feel like the youngers uh, definitely come up. They will come out with some new music. They'll come out with some new messages. They'll come out with some new ideas, and just keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. I feel like there's a lot to do, and I, I'm, I'm enjoying the journey. And I hope to take the message out to, to the national market and hopefully do some festivals and trying to get some things out there. Mm. Um, but it's about building a platform here first, and then sort of springboard into to national market. Mm. And when you're saying Emirati music, are you talking about creating a new sound? Yes, most definitely. Emirati? Will that be in Arabic or will that be in English? Or no, no, necessarily. And I feel like when I say Emirati, I mean local based, I mean mm. UAE based. Uh, I'm not saying as a nationality as Emirati, but a local based sound. Uh, and again, we have so, so many different nationalities we can take all of those, the best parts of those, and create a sound. Mm. Like, why not, man? Like, it's such a, such, such a, so much potential there. Mm. Like, why, why haven't we done that yet? You know what I mean? We've got Brazilians living here. We've got Australians living here. Sudanese, you know what I mean? Somalians, yeah. English, everything. Come on now. Just let me know when you need that Lebanese sound <laughs> <laughs> in your music, bro. Why not? Yeah. So, I mean, for me, it's amazing. Uh, yesterday, we did an event uh, in Rami, mm. and there was a Lebanese band there. And it's the first time we're performing yesterday on stage together. What were the Lebanese band doing? Stealing Hello. instruments? <laughs> 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 were, they, were, they, were they, like, trying to sell you back your own guitar? <laughs> la, 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 habibi. See, I put these new strings on it. These strings, Phoenician strings, what you bro. Need. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. they came in, uh, they called uh, Elif, and they were an amazing band. So, I mean, like, we got to jam together. You know, what an opportunity to do that. That's, that's, I love that. Uh, and mm. so, like, open more things up like that. You know what I mean? And there's uh, so many Sudanese uh, uh, singers here. Big, yeah, uh, big singers, musicians singers. that are amazing. They start jamming together. You know what I mean? So I want to bring everyone together, different nationalities, and create something new. And that's the sound. That's the Maori sound for me. Mm. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a melting pot here. You know what I mean? Come on now. Yeah, bro. And this is the thing. All eyes on Dubai right now. Yeah, and all yeah. eyes on the Emirates. Yeah, because... Yeah, yeah. It is the place to be now. Most the Emirates, yeah. is the, everyone's coming here, yeah, yeah. whether they come for their holidays, whether they come forever. This place right now, and probably for the next 30 years, yeah, yeah, yeah. is the place to be. Most definitely. So it needs to be recognized, not just for, because I was talking to, Big House was on the show and I was talking to him about this. I went to Seoul DXB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I saw there were a lot of locals, a lot of Sudanese, a lot yeah. of mixed people dressing like what I because I grew up in London right yeah, so yeah, yeah. I got things quick 
yeah, when yeah. when it came out in America, it was pretty much with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're dressing like how America was in the nineties. Right, Do you right, know what right, I mean? Right, Trying yeah. too hard to over gangstify their yeah, clothes yeah, yeah. and their chains and their this, and it's like it's not you, bro. It's like this is this is you're wearing a uniform or, or an outfit. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I'm with you. I'm with you on that. Uh, so we need time, something that's yeah, our own look, and yeah. that's why. I, I think again going this thing with roots is getting fashion designers to suit up um local musicians so when i'm on stage i'm wearing something that's that's made by a made. local designer made by somebody from here you know what i mean so our style our, our look is going to be us yeah. it's not me trying to emulate somebody else and that's important for me as well that's how we express ourselves you know what i mean the first thing people see is they look at me they see the condor. it's important for me to do that you know what i mean and then the sound comes in later on and then the message you know what i mean so it's that order so it's important for me to have all these different art disciplines come together and create something hmm. and so uh, I, I see what you're coming from but everybody goes through a journey and I think this is what's, what's happening right now yeah. a lot of these uh, youngins a lot of these these people are, are going through a journey and they're dressing up the way they assume um, is, is in or is, is you know this is what they like right now this, this is fine but they, I think they would develop their own style as well as they, as they get mm. older so it's, it's important it's, yeah, they, it's help, it's yeah happening. they have to go through that to get to where Most they need stuff, to be because yeah. i look at some of the stuff i used to wear and i'm just like what are you doing dude? Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? we've all been there bro. But yeah it's it, i guess it's also hard for them to figure out what to wear if they don't have i mean other than there's the no Pandora, yeah. there's no reference of yeah, yeah. what's cool and what's not don't get me wrong a lot of people know about the culture here and it's not like they, they don't know about it yeah. i just feel like Whenever somebody tries to be something else, it never works. Yeah, it, it comes off as yeah, it comes being, off yeah, as they're trying to yeah, do, be you know? inauthentic, you know, mm. trying, you know, trying too hard. Yeah, I think, man, I think we're gonna tr we're gonna create some new things. I think there's mm. a lot of things, man. The condor, I think we are sort of pr progressing with condor yeah, yeah. now. You know what I mean? Uh, I like the different colors. Um, the different things I'm trying to do with the condor. Yeah, now. you're killing me right now. I've got like six <laughs> condoras in my house. They're all different colors. Right? <laughs> you should have worn today, bro. Them, bro. I just wear them to the masjid, and nobody's gonna say nothing to me. It's gonna be like, okay, this English guy's praying at least. So <laughs> this Australian, at least he's wearing condoras to pray. Yeah, subhanallah, mashallah, brother. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, I'll get away with it. You know, and then maybe I'll just start extending it, so I'll go to eat with them after somewhere else. <laughs> just test the water and see how it is. Fair enough. Yeah, fair right? enough. That's the idea, though, man. Man, I just want condoras every day. Bro. It's so much easier. Bro. What are you wearing tomorrow? Same as yesterday, bro. <laughs> like, we it's wear, different shade. Yeah, we were on a Wednesday. It's off white. Remember what I wore on Tuesday? Same as that, but blue, bro. It's just like, so easy, bro. Honestly, man. Like, I mean, apart from playing football, yeah, yeah. it's the best outfit. Yeah. It's not. Yeah, well, it's enough, not yeah. the easiest thing to have yeah. an 11 aside all wearing Kandoras <laughs> lifting it up just running, <laughs> running, it, yeah. wrapping it around no, <laughs> running yeah. like that. see the Pakistanis they got it right they got slits up the side <laughs> and trousers bro they, they, they're ready they're football ready right <laughs> they're adapted to yeah, it yeah. have you done uh, a tune with your brother no uh, no. why there, there is a song Reap What We Sow I don't know if you heard Reap of course we I heard is yeah. everyone that the harmony uh, towards that's, the no, 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 no. that's a cop out no, that's a cop out that is not that's, a that's tune a that's the closest See, we've got again and this is the problem okay yeah. and I spoke again yesterday with uh, my boy Freak and my flow I was like why haven't you done they are like yeah we have ages ago blah, blah. I'm like agents ages ago ages like ago we did, okay. but I'm yeah. like what, what's going on here yeah. you live and grew up with another big artist in this country <laughs> Your brothers. I think, I think. And you still haven't done a track together. No, we have. I, I think, first of all, I think we both think it's a little cheesy to do like a, like, I don't know. It feels like a, I don't say it's a cop out, but it feels like, I don't know. If it happens, it happens naturally. Does your brother have a good voice? My brother has an amazing voice. Do you have a good voice? Sometimes. <laughs> Where's the cheese here? What do you mean? <laughs> Forget about, see, again, it's all about people just think, overthinking things. That could be, yeah. You and him are the same family <laughs> and this is what it, this is the thing that gets me it's like all these people keep <laughs> overthinking this stuff it's yeah. like how do you expect the community to come together this is the part of the podcast guys where i just start wiling out <laughs> how do you expect the community to collab and to start working together if even family doesn't work together bro fair enough that's a good point that's a good point. It'll happen. It'll happen down the line. It has to happen, dude. It has to, I'm just going to do one giant jam session, bro. And I'm going to be like, right, all, all of you guys, I'm recording this track. You've got three lines each and it's going to go after each other. No, but do you see what I mean? Like, I think people in the music industry, and fair enough, but I think they're scared to bring, what if it doesn't make the song better? Or what if people start liking him more? Or what if my fan... 
Insecurities, I think there's a lot of insecurities. There, there can't be any room for any of that. Yeah, yeah. And, there and can't I, be. And again, I think this, we are we artists. We're making art. So it is about... It's personal, yes. Yeah. But it's like... But it's also, I, I think it's about... One, two tracks. Yeah, but I think... It's, it, it, and I'm not sure what it is. I think it, it's hoping it's changing slowly. I'm hoping that collaborations happen. Not only within the different disciplines, but also within our own discipline. Hmm. Um, maybe it's just the space to collaborate, to, to have these conversations. I mean, that doesn't exist. I don't know. I, I mean, I've met Freak twice, maybe. Um, I've, uh, I've spoken to Tack on Instagram. I've, uh, I've spoken to Swerty from, uh, mm. from um, um, uh, The Recipe a few times, but nothing's really happened. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you need to ask, bro. Yeah. This is the problem with me. Yeah. I mean, I, some people say it's a problem. Not, bro, I don't care. Yeah. If I want something, I'm asking for it. You don't ask, you don't get, bro. Yeah, fair enough. Like if I if I see yeah, someone, sure. every time I want to get a guest on the show, me and DK were laughing about this before, dude. Mm. There are big celebrities that I've had on my show, and you know how I got them? Yes. I messaged them on Instagram. I was like, "Hey, you're in Dubai. Come on, let's do the show on Wednesday." Oh, really? Eh? Yeah. And most of the time, they're like, "All right, cool." Really? Eh? Yeah. I love that. Not even who are you or whatever. I'm just like, <laughs> look, you're doing the show, bro. Like, you, you're here. You're doing yeah, it. Like, <laughs> because I see it as something for other people like, i see it as something really cool that needs to be done yeah, yeah. like if i was in the music i would be out there telling everyone all my friends all these people by the way on wednesday we're recording the track right, right. next week we're recording the track why are we not recording the track yeah, yeah, let's yeah. get down to the bottom of this what's going on fair enough fair enough like yeah. think about it mm. now i'm with you i'm with you i'm with you i'm gonna make it happen you can have a track happen. on yeah. abri's album you can have a track on freak's album yeah, you can yeah, have yeah. a track on thing and you're all jumping over and this is a problem with the podcast scene out here mm. so i was saying this on another podcast i was like Everyone needs to stop with this numbers game of, uh, uh, or, or trying to protect your brand. It's it's not you're not protecting but, yourself. Yeah, but, but protect it from what? Though? Yeah, but this is the thing. They right. they get scared because they think, what if somebody likes that? They see them online and they like their podcast more, or whatever. I'm like, no, that's not the way it works. Yeah. If you look at America, Joe Rogan, all of these people, yeah. they're all jumping on each other's podcast every every other week. Somebody's yeah. on someone else's podcast. That's a, that's a, that's a real and that's how you though. find out about other people. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. put it this way. Yeah indirectly we collaborated with management mm -hmm. all right yeah, yeah. if you didn't sign for touch yeah. could have been another five years before i even a heard your music b became a friend or that's so true yeah that's if, so if true. touch didn't put that thing up there i would never have known about you that's incredible <laughs> that's so incredible but, but because they did yeah. in the blink of an eye <laughs> but you see what i'm saying so again how many people, like you said, I know personally seven people who know you. But they didn't know I sang They them. know yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I played them your song. Yeah. Two days later, it hit them in their head. They're like, bro, I know this guy. <laughs> bro, I, I know this guy. I didn't even. And that's how powerful your music is that you don't realize that they listened to the song and it didn't connect because they didn't put the two together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're, you're singing personality the person you are when you're singing is a completely different person even yeah, yeah. to the person they know yeah, most definitely yeah. so it's just like <laughs> bro jump on it right i'm starting this new agency it's called <laughs> it's called connect and uh, we're gonna start connecting with everyone fair enough fair enough yeah, let's yeah, make yeah. it happen let's make again it it's beautiful um dude is there anything that we missed out that you feel no i, I think we covered it all man it's been such a such a interesting conversation that we had yeah for sure it's been a pleasure to have you and if you think that I'm going to end this podcast without you playing us out. You're out of your <laughs> mind, dude. You're out of your mind. <laughs> so anytime you want, to, anytime you're ready. All Guys, right. thank you so much for watching. Um, I've been AJ. He's been Arkham. And plenty more to come. And we're going to have uh, another episode where him and every artist I want him to connect with <laughs> are on the same <laughs> podcast. So I'm going to do that. If I can't make it happen one way, it will happen another. But I'm um, going to play us out now. Thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. And this is a song called Towards the Light. Mm. A little bit like this. I might get some ad-libs in here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> jump on it, jump on it. <laughs> this is my first collaboration. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good job. Don't know what to expect. <laughs> <laughs> you, can rap, you can rap on this, can't you? Bro, I can rap on anything, mate. <laughs> Don't challenge me, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Then time never tell you I'm dead and pass you by Hold on to those you love 
you don't eventually know why Then I ever wound you Will I apologize I've been broken all my life And didn't even realize The darkness of my core you Seep into your life And that's salvation, baby Just look towards the line, towards the line Towards the line, towards the line Towards the line, towards the line Where, hey Nobody said you could stop. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's been actually a pleasure to have you on. It's been bro. my pleasure, man. Such a man. humbling experience. Thank you so much for having it's me, crazy, man. man. Yeah. <laughs> what can I say? Expect another two albums coming this year, <laughs> guys. By next week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> DJ, uh, DK, um, you can turn the cameras off, but we're staying here for another hour, so you can. <laughs> 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 <laughs>